Giant Partners, the number one data-driven marketing agency in the United States. Today we're talking about, is AI your job? So there's a lot of news out here. The main thing with AI right now is chat GPT. Currently it's GPT-3. Uh, there will eventually be a GPT-4. If you wanna know how to use chat GPT or how it works, there's tons of YouTube videos out there for any industry from marketing to entrepreneurship to web development, things like that. But basically on a high level, you can put a question or a prompt into the, what they call like this chat box, ask a question, like some trending topics today that'd be good for a video. It'll spit out some topics based on the collection of data it has. You can have it write blog articles, like here's an example here, create a blog outline for crafting content with GPT. You could have it like the blog, make the blog titles, have an outline, write paragraphs on the pieces of outline. You can have it rewrite with good amount of perplexity and burstiness to make it seem more human. You can write it, output the content in a voice of Oprah or something like that as well. And this is just one of the tools. So Jasper uses the ChatGPT AI connection with OpenAI, which is the company that own, that kind of created it, this AI environment. And you can also use it to create designs. Midjourney's uh, really cool at and does and creates really good AI imagery. You put, again, you put in prompts, it'll create variations from your prompt. You'll make adjustments and iterations to make it look how you want it to look. And it's really cool. This runs on the Discord server. Another AI variation is through OpenAI. They Dall E is the actual like a open AI element that helps create these images from these prompts. End of story, you're gonna basically create prompts and make iterations on prompts, get really good at making these prompts to get what you want. And there's so many recent sources out there you saw on YouTube, there's tons of videos how to create prompts to get uh, what you want. There's also tons of prompt examples like on GitHub. Here's an example of some awesome ones. Tell it to act as a composer, debater, debate coach, screenwriter, and then prompt it to do something. A movie critic, you could have it act as a comedian and write five minute comedy hour for your stand-up special if you want to be a stand-up comic. So will AI take your job and how will it affect people at work in advertising and marketing specifically? And in the story, it will replace a lot of jobs in the advertising marketing space, but it'll also allow marketers and advertisers to produce more content or websites, designs, things like that. So the output expectation on marketers and advertisers will be a lot higher. And so instead of having five or three to five markers, you may have one or two that can produce more, just the same amount as those three to five people without the AI technology. So this will allow you to be able to produce more content and get more done. And basically throughout history, new developments, technology have tended to create new jobs as quickly as they make old jobs redundant. What's more, the jobs that are created are often more technical, creative, and highly skilled, meaning that they're higher paying often more rewarding. Again, there'll be people that'll be paying, getting more money, but there'll be less of them. So if you're really good at using AI tools, you'll be paid more because you're doing the job of multiple people and people will be happy to pay for it because you're getting so good. And it's not just affecting marketing and advertising. Now you can see in this article here, some of the other jobs and sectors that'll be affecting. One is education. New York City schools have already banned ChatGPT because you can basically have it write your term paper for your research paper, solve problems. And because it's just a great tool to get you instant responses. Finance, you could actually tell it to act like Warren Buffett and invest in stocks that you think Warren Buffett would invest in. Same with any other investor. Software engineering, I can actually produce code and write scripts for you that to do a certain task. So instead of figuring out or having to know everything, you can input it, write me a script to crawl the LinkedIn for this person's name or a person's name. And it'll spit out a code that you can input. Journalism, right now the AI ChatGPT software is only through 2021, I think, or 2022. Anything current, it doesn't have data on. So it's still lagging behind as the, the, for the currency and current events. So journalism, as a, it's a really good writer, it doesn't have that on topic content or data in, in it yet, but it will probably soon have that. Graphic design for sure, as you saw Midjourney and Dolly, it can create really awesome designs really quickly. 
and it won't necessarily replace graphic designers, but it will allow them to almost get started and produce more content, but then they can make iterations and edit that in Photoshop and other tools, but it just gives you a quick starting place for multiple logo variations, edits, and really awesome creative variations of the content you're trying to create. So what jobs will it most likely replace? So you can see in this CBS News article, these jobs are the most likely it's gonna replace. And as you can see, I think before uh, computer programming, like I said, it can actually program applications and software. It could check human coders language for errors and convert ideas from plain English into programming language. In terms of jobs, I think it's primarily an enhancer than full replacement of jobs. And kind of like I said before, you're gonna be able to do your job better and faster and more efficiently at the pace of two or three people. Basic email writing, again, ChatGPT is really good at writing emails. You can tell it to write an outreach email for B2B outreach or an email sequence. It'll create all that, whip that up as at least a starting point for you to edit and make it even better. Yeah, mid-level writing, it's already there as far as like creating some mid-level content that you can get a starting point, then edit. Media planning and buying. Yeah, creating headlines, ad copy, all that stuff, it'll be able to uh, spit out great variations that could be used immediately or even just edited really quickly. As you saw before in the video, just creating those titles for that ChatGPT article took two seconds and then you can just go from there and have your title in minutes versus having to do a ton of research. A legal function, GPT recently passed the law school exam, which is great. It has so many points of data that um, it can reference all of it and answer any question, which is awesome. And the, all like the busy work that any lawyers do, it can handle all that. Common legal forms, documents, including home lease agreements, wills, non disclosure agreements. A lot of busy work, a bot can replace it. So what's, so what's ChatGPT and AI actually gonna do? It's actually gonna help you get more work done. Basically, end of story, it's a tool. It helps you do your job faster. And people that are going to be adopting it and getting better at it will be the ones that will be getting higher paid jobs, longer employment. You're going to be ahead of the game and you're going to be very desirable as an employee or starting your own business or anything. It'll help you so much. And some of the just other things that ChatGPT helps workers with, brainstorming, like just coming up with ideas, it's awesome. Language translation. It'll most likely create more jobs than destroy jobs. There's going to be a ton of people using this, not only in the U.S., but all over the world. So you just got to get on board, start playing around with it, and see what you can do. As this article states, ChatGPT is just the beginning of the AI economy. There's going to be so many different jobs that are going to pop up, so many different businesses that are going to pop up. You're going to be able to get a lot more volume out there a lot faster to people who are looking to buy it. As you can see, Microsoft has a $10 billion investment in this, so it's... Not going anywhere anytime soon. Famously reached 1 million users within five days of being released, which is uh, amazing. So adoption is actually becoming very quick, which is incredible. So a lot of people are using these tools. They're knowing that this is a change and they should get on board, start using it. As you can see, it's gonna spark new jobs, businesses, and drive the AI economy for creators, personal economics, sustainability, education, science, entrepreneurship. Like I said before, so many businesses are gonna pop up from this and people are leveraging those tools to get more output and make more money. So it's gonna be a great tool overall. And then that's just the start. GPT-3 is out right now, GPT-4 is coming out. I guess the CEO says people will be disappointed probably because there's a lot of hype around GPT-4 and the capabilities. There's a rumor out there that it has GPT-3, the one out right now has 175 billion and GPT-4 will have 100 trillion data points. But the CEO says it's BS, but we'll see. It'll probably just keep getting better, whether it's the fourth one or that's just, it could be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's gonna keep getting better and better. The outputs are gonna get start getting better and better. What you can produce and create will get better and better. And there's so many tools popping up. Here's a list of 75 AI tools. Some are free, some are paid for copywriting, digital media content, SEO, email, presentation generator, and more. Just tons of tools out there. People are using AI to already create these companies and tools that people can purchase. So it's time to get on board as soon as you can. Uh, here at Giant Partners, we've been using AI tools for the last two years. One of our tools that we're deep into is Jasper, which is a great tool. It does a lot of copy, even does imagery. So we're able to produce content 
great designs at uh, high speeds for advertising, emails, data analysis, research, all that stuff. And yeah, we look forward to seeing what's the future of it. So if you like this content and want to learn more, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about AI and the future of it, feel free to drop a comment below and I'm happy to answer it. And I'll see you next time.